Assalamu alaikum. Traveling and exploring is one of the main educational experiences people partake in their lives. Now, when we discuss traveling, we mean long distances where you will not return home for a few days. Maybe for work, business or even pleasure. However, we as Muslims must take precautions and be on our best behavior when traveling. Imam al-Sadiq says, It is abominant to travel on Friday, lest one should miss Friday prayers. One shouldn't travel alone and pay sadaqah before you leave. One should recite Surah Al-Hamd, Surah Al-Falaq, Surah Al-Nas, Ayat Al-Kursi and Surah Al-Qadr before leaving. It is better for one to visit the following places when leaving one's residence. Visiting the house of Allah for Hajj, Umrah. Visiting the house of a scholar as you will benefit from them. Visiting the house of a generous person. Visiting a fellow believer. Visiting those gatherings which elevate one's manners and instill love and generosity. Visiting the shrines of the Imams is hugely recommendable and have all the rewards of visiting Imam Hussein. Visiting the shrine erases the sin, it increases sustenance and permits intercession of the infallibles, lengthens life and removes evil. Allah has made the world for us to live but also discover. His signs are located everywhere. And also the Shia community is growing day by day. Have you met your brother in Africa? What about China? Trinidad perhaps? Maybe it's time you did a little bit of travelling. Why not travel to the holy cities to visit the Imams and meet the scholars to help improve your spiritual life? Ma'asalama. Thank you for watching.